So, you wanna know how to make a OG first person roleplay, do you now? Well, let me help you out. Hi, it's Izumi. And today I'm gonna to be going over the basics of how to make a first person roleplay, um, how to use the mods needed for a first person roleplay, and how to tell a story that is compelling from a first person's perspective. Okay, so I am right now just in a world that has future roleplay potential possibly, who knows? But I, I, I wanted to show you some of the basic mods and how to use them. The most important mod you will need ever is custom NPCs. If you're doing a first person roleplay, it is by far the most customizable, user-friendly NPC mod out there. Once you've installed custom NPCs, there are plenty of tutorials online, by the way. Um, also, before we get into the mods, I highly recommend using 1.12.2. Um, it is by far the most supported when it comes to roleplaying mods. That doesn't mean you have to use 1.12.2, but I highly recommend it, and so do many other people. Once you've installed custom NPCs, we're gonna go ahead and get the NPC wand. So I'm just gonna be showing you the basics of what this little bad boy can do. So, right click the ground, it creates an NPC. So we're just gonna name him Daryl, okay? Up here, obviously you got your name. Um, you, you can add in a title if you'd like to. It's basically like, like Daryl the book shop keeper. And then I believe yeah, it'll put that title underneath their name. We're gonna keep the title empty though. If you'd like to edit what the model looks like, you can right next to model, hit edit. Um, and this is where you can add, um, you know, different assets to your character, like tails and uh, horns and whatnot. And these are all included in custom NPCs. Uh, these are just basic. Um, basic uh, models that they have already in the mod. But one thing I like to do is I like to turn off the eyes. Um, basically, it makes it where they blink if they're on um, and there's multiple different eye options. I much prefer not having that on, but you can do whatever you'd like. Now, you can also change what entity it is. So say you're using an Alex skin, you can change it to be an Alex model. Um, you can also make it a pony. I'm not gonna judge. Um, a parrot, basically any, um, anything that you have that is in, that is a model in Minecraft, you most likely will be able to put it into here, um, or it'll already be in here rather. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just make our guy a classic NPC model, so a Steve model. Now, you can either select a pre-made texture by hitting select next to texture right here, if it'll load. It's taking a second, one second. There we go. <laughs> and they have some basic Steve reskinned skins. If you watched like Aviator Games old role plays, like old role plays, you've probably seen some of these or like uh, Dan TDM's uh, custom mod adventures. Um, that's kind of what these are. They're very basic, basic Steve skins that are already included in the custom NPCs. Um, that are you're more than welcome to use if you'd like. Um, also, they have um, some other some other categories. If you hit up, double click up multiple times, it'll get you to this screen. Um, and there's even more. We're gonna go with one of these, but I'm also gonna show you the other ways you can upload skins. Um, so we're just gonna have it be this guy. <laughs> Why not? But if you didn't wanna use one of the pre-made textures, you can click the texture button and you can either go with a player skin so I'm gonna type in my skin and there I am. Cool, I'm Daryl. Or you can use a URL. So if you upload your skin to a website like Imgur or even Discord sometimes works, uh, you just have to make sure to, to get the full link, not just the half link or anything. Um, you can use that and you just paste the URL into that. Um, but as I said, we're just gonna go with this guy for now, just so that we have an example. So this is Daryl, we can right click on him and he just says, hello Izumi Gaming, right off the bat. That's like the basics of what he's programmed to do already. Um, you get, there's a lot of customiz customization, say you want to have it where someone's talking to you but they're not in frame. Um, a really easy way to do that is to make them invisible like I just did. You right click the air and then it looks like no one's talking to you. You hold the NPC wand, you can now see where they are. But we're gonna make them visible, fully, fully visible. My computer just had a mini aneurysm, so I hope that didn't mess up the footage too bad. I need a new computer really bad. 
My computer is old and dying slowly, but it's okay. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue now, shall we? Um, you can turn off the living animation so he stands completely still. There's a bunch of customization. We're not really gonna get into the nitty gritty of all the customization we can do. I don't even know all the customization we can do. I'm just gonna teach you everything I know. Also in model, you can change the scale. So say you want Daryl to be a short king, right? You want him to be a shouty. Um, you can make him short. You can make him whatever size you want. And that's pretty nifty. Um, now, now he's, now he's a shouty. Now he's a short king. Love him. Love Daryl. Under, so that was all on display. You can also turn off their name tag if you'd like. If you'd like them just to be an NPC with no name tag, you can totally do that. Um, there's also a bo boss bar and stuff. Um, but to change what color their name shows as, I'm going to show you real quick. Um, you're going to go to global. I believe, uh, and then factions, yes. And then for friendly, you're gonna click on that and then you're gonna click the color and you're gonna change it to whatever color you want. I'm gonna change it to white because that's normally what I do. And then it'll change it to white. Um, you wanna make sure you're in global, not advanced because on that you can just change what faction they're a part of. So say you make the aggressive name pink and then the neutral name white and then the, the good name purple or something, I don't know, the friendly name. Um, whatever you click, for this NPC to be, their name will be that color. And I think they also will attack or be friendly or do nothing. I don't know. I haven't really messed with that stuff too, too much. This is their inventory. If you wanted to make them hold an item or wear armor, you can do it here. Um, under AI, this is where we're gonna be able to make them do some cool stuff position wise. Um, the basics of what they can do position wise. So you can make them um, always face you with stalking. Um, you can make their head always in a certain direction, but their body can move side to side, or you can make them only look in one direction. We're gonna make them only look in one direction. Um, now, off the bat, it's going to make them look at you once they talk to you, but then the moment they're no longer talking to you, they'll go back to that position. If you wanna turn that off, um, all you have to do is go back to movement and then turn stop on interact to no instead of yes. Um, you can also make them wandering or you can make them have a moving path and stuff. We'll get into that later though. Um, uh, we're going to go ahead and make them look even cooler because we're cool like that by going to advanced and then see how there's roles and jobs. So roles, you'll see there's a bunch of different roles you can choose for you got to have. And then there's a bunch of different jobs you can choose for you got to have. Now we're going to choose the puppet job. Edit. And now this allows you to control what that, what that body do. <laughs> so we're gonna make him look down a little bit, look to the side, and then we're gonna make him, his arm out a little bit. We're gonna make him like, be like, like kind of like holding his hands together, kind of villager style, just a, just a smidge, like that. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Oh, got a text, don't worry about it. So he's just kind of chilling. We click on him. Oh, did I turn it to no? Yeah, it turned it to no. We're gonna keep that on yes. So now he can look at us and he's posed and stuff. So that's pretty cool. You can do quite a bit with the puppet deal, just you know, making everything feel cool. And yeah, it, it, it's a fun, it's a funky little, it's a funky little deal. Now to control what lines your guy can say or the dialogue your guy can say. So lines and dialogue. The difference between that is a line is what we already have set. Hello, Izumi Gaming. That is a line. If you want dialogue, it's when it shows on your entire screen. I'll show an example as well in just a moment. Um, so first and foremost, let's learn lines. So we're gonna go to advanced, then lines, then interact lines. This is the line we have currently. So interact lines basically means when you right click them, it's the line they say. So we're gonna delete this and we're gonna make it say, I eat mayonnaise. That's not how you spell mayonnaise, but we're gonna leave it like that. And then <laughs> we're gonna give him a second line. You don't have to leave, I don't know why I left. Um, do you eat mayonnaise? That's also not how you spell mayonnaise, but don't worry about it. I am smart, don't worry about it. Um, and then we're gonna go to advanced lines and then where it has you, you the ability to click on interact lines and stuff like that. Um, we're going to turn random lines off. So we're gonna say random lines, no. Uh, because if you do random lines, it randomizes the order of the interaction lines. And normally what you want is it to always be in the order you programmed them in, right? So say we go up to him. I eat mayonnaise. Do 
eat mayonnaise. So that's that's the lines he has, correct? Correct. Awesome. We're doing great, guys. There's a lot to get unpacked in this video. Jesus Christ, guys, I didn't realize how in-depth I was gonna do this. Okay, dialogues. So dialogues are a little funky fresh. I'm gonna show you the best way I can describe dialogues. Okay, so go to global, and we're gonna hit dialogues, and then we're going to add a new dialogue. We're gonna call this Daryl. Daryl. Click a Daryl, and then we're going to, under dialogues instead of categories, we're gonna hit add, and we're gonna say one, okay? And then we're gonna add again, and we're gonna say two, okay? Then we're gonna add again, and we're gonna say two A, okay? Then we're gonna add again, and we're gonna say two B. You'll understand why in just a moment, okay? So, for now, it won't make sense, but it'll make sense once you see. So watch this entire part through, and then back up, and then follow along, okay? Um, so one, we're gonna edit it. I haven't done dialogues in so long, so let's hope I remember how to do this correctly. So we're editing it. We're gonna do dialogue text. Edit. Howdy. Okay, howdy. I believe that's what they say. Now, dialogue options. This is what you can reply. Okay, so you say howdy, question mark, and then select dialogue right there. You're gonna go to Daryl, and then you're gonna choose, because one is gonna lead to two, okay? Okay, hopefully we're all on the same page here. This is hectic, but we're having a great time. Now we're gonna go to two, because we just sent, sent them to two. So this is gonna be the response to howdy, question mark, from our NPC. We're gonna edit, dialogue texts, um, what? You don't say howdy. Okay, dialogue options. So now we have, if you remember, remember from earlier, we have two A and two B, um, I believe. Ooh, ooh. There's other things you can do. I'm just teaching you guys the basics, remember? Um, 2A and 2B. So this dialogue option is going to lead to 2A, um, maybe. And then, nah, you stinky. This is going to lead to 2B, okay? And then, 2A, so this is the response to, um, maybe? Yes, this is the response to maybe. Hmm, you're weird. Okay, and then we're gonna leave it at that. That's all that happens. It's done there. Now, to B is you stinky. What? No, you're stinky, weirdo. Okay, this is quite the tutorial. <laughs> I'm not professional in the slightest, Jesus. Okay, so that's, that's that. So. It's not set to Daryl yet though, because we did it in global. Now if we go to advanced, hit dialogues, select option, Daryl. One, we wanted to start at the first one, X. Okay, cool. Now, let me turn off his lines. So we're gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna delete his lines because we don't need them because we have dialogue. Okay, cool. Let's hope this works because I haven't done dialogue in a long time. Click, howdy, howdy? What, you don't say howdy? Nah, you stinky. What? No, you're stinky, weirdo. Okay. And then we go with 2A, the first option, maybe. Hmm, you're weird. Okay. Hopefully that made sense. Follow along. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below. I'm more than happy to talk about this in the comments because I know this is a weird <laughs> tutorial. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. You got this? You got this? You got this. You got this. Okay, so... Last things I'm gonna teach you guys. Um, we're gonna do the moving path stuff as well as the mob cloner stuff. So let's just go to our custom NPCs category. So these are all our tools and all our things we got. Uh, we're gonna get out the mob cloner and the pather. I don't use. I don't know how to use a scripter, so we're not gonna. I'm not gonna do you a scripter because I don't even know how to use a scripter. So say we want to keep Daryl forever. Uh, we can use the mob cloner. Right click him. Daryl tab one. Save. And then we can place him down in other places exactly with his programming and everything makes it real easy right um let's go ahead and get rid of these extra actually let's keep the extra daryls i like them i feel like i have friends okay npc wand we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn off the puppet mode because we're going to make him walk around um so we're going to make it set to no job um we're going to go to ai movement and we're just going to have it be we're gonna have them crawling around. So animation, this is basically like you can make him sit, 
You can make him do all this kind of stuff. Lying, hugging, sneaking, dancing, aiming, crawling. Okay, we're gonna make him crawl. Uh, this bitch crawling. Uh, we're gonna make his rotation just body, so whatever way he wants to be moving. And then we're gonna make it a moving path. So, we're gonna make the moving path looping with no pauses, but stops on interact. That's what we're gonna do. Play around with this stuff though and figure out what you want to do. Um, can I make him crawl? Wait, I just realized he's not crawling anymore. Animation, crawl. Yes, there we go. So, this is the NPC Pathfinder. We're gonna right click on him and then right click where we want him to walk to. And then there he goes. He's such a lad. Whoa, Daryl, you're doing so good. Okay, now I'm gonna right click him. Howdy. See, he stopped. I don't know if you can see that. It's very, very faint. He stopped. You can talk to him. Cool. When you stop talking to him, he goes back to doing the little loop. Okay, that's <laughs> that's custom NPCs, guys. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go ahead and... Oh, God. I just accidentally made a new NPC. Okay, okay, okay. Ah! Okay. Let's get rid of these guys. Okay. That's custom NPCs. If you have any more questions, let me know down in the comments below. That, that, that's all the basics you would need to know to make a first person roleplay in my opinion though. Now, another mod you will probably really want to have is a biome mod. So, bi oh the biomes you'll go or biomes of plenty or one of those mods. Um, oh, the bio oh the biomes you'll go is what I have downloaded right now. It's how you can add more uh, tree variations, more block types, a bunch of stuff, right? Um, I, I recommend having at least one of these types of mods because it does help with um, being able to build different types of builds and um, especially if you're doing like a first person medieval roleplay, having like different types of biomes to explore and stuff like that. Now, another one you're definitely gonna want is Optifine. Um, it makes it where you can ziggity zoom just like so. Um, it also makes it where you can have shaders. So if you'd like to have shaders, that's how you have shaders. Look up a tutorial on how to install shaders if you don't know already, but you need Optifine in order to install shaders in the first place. So hope that helps. Next up, more player models. So more player models, um, I believe is by default F12 to open the menu. So I have like some skins for series I might be doing eventually and stuff. Um, so ignore those. But this is how you do like HD skins on your players. Um, also, if you want an HD skin on your NPC, how you would use that is you'd use the URL option. You'd copy the URL for that um, by using Imgur or Discord or something like that. Um, but we're gonna just be using regular old skins today, folks. Um, so say I want to edit what I look like. So it, you would open this and it would have, I believe just default or normal or something like that. Um, it wouldn't have all these extra ones because I've added these over time. Um, hit edit. And then this is where you can add the stuff from custom PCs to your person, right? So say I want to have a cute little, a cute little like squirrel tail. I can give myself a little squirrel tail and I can make it light pink. Look at that, so cute. Um, say I want to give myself little wings. I can give myself little wings. Look at that, so cute. So cute, okay. That's how you do that. You can also change the scale of your person. Um, you can change what entity you are. You can literally just become a different thing. Fun, right? Cool. Another thing you can do. You need to go into your settings, your controls, and do whatever keybind works best for you for these. Um, but I have mine set to X through B, I believe. Um, or Z through B, I believe. Actually, I don't. Oh, I have them. Okay, I have my numpad actually. Never mind. Um, so you can lay down, sit, crawl, hug, dance. You know what it's about. And then I don't know what that is. Don't worry about it. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Ignore whatever I just did. I don't know what I did. So I don't know. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm as clueless as you all are. <laughs> and then edit. If you want to change what your skin is, you go to options, skin URL. That's how you can use an HD skin on more player models. Now, let's get into storytelling from a first person's perspective. So the biggest like do's and don'ts I'm going to list for you guys. You don't have to follow. Do whatever your heart says it wants to do. 
I am merely giving advice from the perspective of I've been I've been doing role plays online uh, for well non publicly for like ten years publicly for like eight years so I've gathered a little bit of like tips and tricks as well as things to stay away from specifically in like first person stuff um, I'm gonna do a tutorial on like cinematics so if you'd like to watch that tutorial as well if you're trying to do like a mixture of both or something or you just watch this for fun and you also are you're actually thinking of doing cinematics or something I'm gonna link that down below probably the main do's I'm gonna start with the do's um Remember that your story needs to be written like it's a novel in first person perspective or it's an RPG video game. Um, and what I mean by that, remember that your viewers are only or majority of the time mainly seen from your perspective, your first, your main character's perspective. Um, now, if you're doing it where it switches POVs, treat it like it's a book that has multiple POVs in it. Um, remember that when you're when you are in that person's point of view there is dialogue you hear in their head so like remember to have the character talk to themselves occasionally if it's in their internal thoughts add a little echo effect or something or if you want to do like very traditional Minecraft roleplay style you talk to yourself like all the time don't be embarrassed to talk to yourself if you feel awkward make sure you're saying something that like be your internal monologue but out loud is the best way I could put it. If you were in this situation, what would you be saying? Um, that's a really important thing in my opinion. So you don't have a bunch of dead space between the NPC interactions or um, the fights or whatever you may have in your role play. Make sure your character is also not a super like one dimensional character. This is something I've done the mistake of doing many times this is a don't we're gonna do do don't do don't okay we're gonna do that order now because that's what my adhd has decided don't don't uh what was the tip i just said <laughs> i <laughs> okay i'll just oh, i hate that i hate that so much hopefully i elaborated enough on it because i don't remember what i was saying okay oh i just remembered what it was don't make your main character a little too one-dimensional because you want your character to be relatable. You don't want them to be perfect. Um, you want them to have struggle, but you don't want them to be unlikable. So make sure to create a character that you feel like people can relate to, but they don't dislike because they relate a little too much. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. Um, basically, make your character have a little bit of trauma. Make them not perfect in every scenario not liked by everyone, um, but also make sure their morals are something that most people can really see eye to eye with. That's the best way I can say. Now, your next do. Okay, this is specifically a do if you're doing this multiplayer. So if you're doing a multiplayer role play with many people in it, instead of NPCs, if you're doing like your friends as the characters or something, do make sure, do make sure, make sure to, um, not just do it with people that you like hanging out with, but you could also see yourself working with or acting with. Not everyone is going to be great to work with. That doesn't mean they're not a great friend. That's totally, this totally different things. You can be best friends with someone, but not want to work with them. It's totally okay. Don't worry about it. Don't feel like you're being a bad friend. Just be very sweet and say, hey, I don't think we role play well together. It's totally fine. And remember, you don't need to role play with friends. That's that's a big thing. I started by myself, and I did by myself, me voice acting all the characters for a very long time. I grew a very nice audience from that, and um, I had a lot to learn and a lot to grow and a lot to do. So if you are scared of not being as good as XYZ, get out of your head. That's the biggest don't. Actually, scratch the last don't. D do wait are we on don't now i think we're on don't now don't worry about it <laughs> don't don't worry about it <laughs> don't this is our next don't don't get in your head about what others are doing or the numbers of other people only compare yourself to you what do you want to accomplish what numbers do you want to see and remember, it's not about the numbers. What type of story do you want to tell? That's the most important thing of this. Now, 
of course you're going to want that story to be seen by as many people as possible if you love that story. But also enjoy the journey. If there's only 5, 10 people watching your first episode, that's still 5, 10 people. That, imagine they walked into your room, 10 people were sitting around being like, tell me about your story. That's still really cool. It's also really cool if there's a fucking fucking stadium of 10,000 people out there. That's also really cool. A million people. That's also really cool. But don't downgrade your, don't like, don't like lower your thinking of like what's really cool just because you see like a little spike. Don't think you then have to hit that spike every single video again. You will hit a bigger spike in the future. Just remember that. Don't get in your head. Don't get in your head. Don't want, don't want about it what matter it is very early the next morning and i realized i never taught you guys how to use obs my cat's meowing because it's almost breakfast time she does this every morning but if i feed her early then she thinks meowing gets her food so i have to train her to think that that doesn't make me feed her any quicker so i do apologize if you hear meowing in the background her food time is in four minutes anyways let me teach you guys how to use obs basically how to record your screen you're gonna wanna install a software called OBS, O-B-S. It is by far one of the best softwares for recording your screen, it's free. Um, and there's so many tutorials online how to use it, but I'm just gonna teach you the very basics of what you'll need to do to record your screen in OBS. So you're gonna obviously gonna wanna download OBS, make sure it's the correct download, not downloaded any viruses or anything like that, but you're gonna just wanna make sure you're on the the official OBS website and then you're gonna download OBS and then when you first open it you won't see any of these or these these the scenes category will be empty and the sources category will also be empty um, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to uh, or there might be one scene I don't there might be a scene that you're on I, I don't think so but maybe um, you're gonna want to hit the little plus under scenes and you're gonna want to create a new scene and I called mine recording REC rec um, and then under sources, this is where you're going to be able to add your screen. So if you want to record your whole display, cool. I recommend doing either window or game capture. You're going to want to hit the plus and then either hit uh, game capture or window capture. So, and then through that you can, you can basically, when you're clicked onto window or game capture right here, you can click and click whatever you want to click your Minecraft once you have your Minecraft open you want to click that um, and depending on the s size of your monitor you might have to window the game and crop it a little bit it depends on um, if you use um, uh, non windowed full screen or windowed full screen stuff like that um, play around with it if you like the black bars at the top and bottom great if you don't like them just um, crop your screen um, to make it fit however you would like. If for some reason something isn't the right size, you can just click on it down here and click and drag it around. Gorgeous, beautiful. Um, and then uh, to start recording, you just hit the little start recording. This will say start recording, not stop recording because I'm recording with it currently. Um, make sure your desktop audio um, properties is set to whatever whatever um, you're hearing your audio from the game on um, and make sure it's a little quieter than your mic whenever it's peaking whenever you're playing something on your computer um, and then for your microphone go to properties and make sure it is the correct microphone you want to use aka the microphone that sounds the best so that is the very basics you will need to be able to record on OBS I hope that was handy dandy for you guys you guys got this if you have any questions, comment down below, or feel free to look up a tutorial on YouTube if you'd like. One more thing I quickly forgot to add to the video. I am thinking of doing a free, super in-depth course on everything you need to know about Minecraft role-playing. Like, I'm talking the nitty-gritty, the in-depth everything, including interviewing other Minecraft roleplay creators in the community, MCTV creators in the community, and hearing their advice as well. Um, so this is just the surface level of what you need to know for first-person roleplays, but there's a lot more to like 
How exactly do you want to write your script? Do you want to write an outline? Do you want to write this? How do you get voice actors? Like all that kind of stuff that I would love to elaborate on um, in a, a full series. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'll link it in the description as soon as it is out. I, I'm very excited to do it and to be able to share the knowledge with you guys. So yeah. Love you guys. Now, to wrap this up, I am I just want to wish you guys all good luck. If you have any questions, please comment them down below. I want to help. Um, I've been dubbed MCTV Mom, um, which if you don't know what MCTV is, it's basically Minecraft role plays that are cinematic or are incredibly high quality and stuff like that. Um, you can call it MCTV, you can call it MCRP, you can call it Minecraft role play, you can call it whatever you would like. You can call it Machinima. I don't care. I just want to see you have a good time making content you love and succeed whatever way that success may be for you. Um, I hope you have so much fun doing this and I hope a bunch of people also have fun watching. I love you guys and subscribe and uh, click, click one of these videos if you like this video because you might like some of my other videos. See you around. Bye!